everybody welcome back to a north texas weather center forecast and today what we're going over is that tornado outbreak potential tomorrow across portions of the midwest we're gonna give you the latest timing intensity what the tornado threat is overall everything is in this forecast for you let's get right into it so as of right now there is now an enhanced risk of severe weather across a large portion of wisconsin for tomorrow there's also an enhanced risk for far southeastern minnesota and far northeastern iowa now the enhanced risk is actually extended a little bit farther out now into that little black shaded region here it does now include green bay uh, but that's what we're looking at as of right now. The main threats will be damaging winds as high as 70 to 80 miles per hour. Hail up to the size of potentially tennis balls with a storm or two will be possible. And a few tornadoes, which one or two may be strong, will be the main threats, especially in that orange-shaded region. Here's a look at that tornado outlook. So this represents more of that enhanced risk. As you can see here, it does include portions of Michigan as well. Uh, but it does now include Green Bay. That 10% probability within a 25-mile radius of a tornado is that yellow-shaded region. Outside of that, there's a 5% probability, which is that brown-shaded region, and eventually the 2% chance which is a very low end threat for the green shaded region which does include far northern portions of missouri like kansas city so just keep that in mind very low end threat overall looking at that hatched area though you can see that little black hatched area that's representing your potential for maybe an ef2 or greater situation with a tornado or two tomorrow so we do have actually a tornado threat for maybe a couple of strong tornadoes so make sure that you're taking the proper precautions again it's overall still a low to medium threat but it is definitely something you want to be monitoring very closely for uh, especially if you're anywhere in wisconsin here's a look at the hail threat overall as well you can see the large hail extremely large hail area is basically a hatch shaded region again very similar to where the tornado outlook is so we could see hail up to the size of maybe hen eggs or potentially as high as baseballs and a couple of storms anywhere around that area that you can see that black shade or the little black hatched area so just keep that in mind the red shaded region as well representing your 30 percent probability within a 25 mile radius of some hail between this size of quarters or all the way up to potentially again up to baseball size all right let's hop into the timing for tomorrow this is a look at some showers and storms possibly during the morning hours now these aren't forecasted to really be that severe there might be a couple of isolated severe storms but we're not looking at a tornado threat with these overall eventually going to the afternoon hours we'll start to see some showers and storms back out to the west this is the beginning of potentially some supercell storms that could pose a tornado threat now eventually by two to three o'clock in the afternoon you can start to see several storms all basically clustered together here will start to develop i would expect the tornado threat to really begin in central time by the way around three or four o'clock in the afternoon that's when i think the tornado threat will start to ramp up again there's a possibility before then but i think that's when we'll start to see the ramp up in action by four to five o'clock those storms will start to move through central areas of wisconsin into areas like michigan this is where i think the greatest tornado threat will exist probably right around five or six o'clock central time by about seven o'clock or so those storms will start to move towards areas like green bay and madison eventually by eight to nine o'clock those storms will start to move off the coast into the uh, great lakes and potentially into michigan posing some very low-end threats of severe weather if it does reach those regions eventually by 11 to 12 o'clock some storms will still be moving maybe through milwaukee by then but after that by midnight everything's clearing out so most for the most part it's actually gonna be more of a afternoon to early evening threat some storms still possible until midnight but overall the severe weather threat will peak probably during the late afternoon hours Here's a look at that tornado parameter, by the way. We're looking at pretty high values overall in terms of a tornado threat. I mean, we usually see these values during like the springtime in the southern plains. We're looking at values between three to four in some spots. So we do have a good threat of potentially of potentially an EF2 or EF3 tornado with a storm or two. It's definitely not out of the question. Uh, but again, it's a low end threat. Just make sure you're prepared for it, though, just in case. Overall, the tornado threat does really dive down after about midnight or so, or even before that, probably about nine. Here's a look at the low-level jet, by the way. The low-level jet will be strong tomorrow, which is going to equivalent to that potential for tornadoes. You can see we're looking at uh, 50 to 55 knots all across the board which represents at least a moderately strong low level jet tomorrow so we definitely have a low level jet that's pretty strong here's a look at the setup by the way you can see this trough this is all what's going to be setting it up here it's a bit negatively tilted that's why we're seeing that potential for severe weather especially that tornado threat so that explains why we're seeing this sort of threat tomorrow usually negatively tilted troughs like this will bring a greater tornado threat or even greater threats in general to areas like even like this into the midwest all right make sure to stay updated with the latest i'll probably go live tomorrow so keep an update uh make sure to click the bell down below make Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, Alt Repair, and Patriot Safe Firms.